no regret and today I'll be giving you a PVE DPS um, fire guide and um, this is a complete guide on how to use the how to use the power and not just um, I'm gonna show you the rotation and get it over with this will be a guide and show you how and what happens if you get stunned and whatnot so we'll go into our tree uh, power tree and then we'll go to emulation so for emulation you'll buy emulation which will be your first point go straight down the middle and then you'll go to your right by two on the right do not worry about stoke flames that's for dueling so you'll get flashpoint meteor overheat fiery weapon inferno and your supercharge will be volcanic calamity now you'll go to your ignition tree you'll buy fireball flame cascade absorb heat and then you will buy fire burst you're in iconic powers buy these two weapons buy wisdom of solomon and then go ahead and buy powerful resistance the reason why i don't have it is because i bought stoke flames but that's for dueling if you don't worry about dueling on um dueling so don't worry if you don't worry about that just go ahead and buy powerful resistance which just boost your health your health up just a little bit so now in your loadout you have inferno fire weapon absorb heat volcanic calamity flame cascade and fire burst you'll clip inferno with fiery weapon jump cancel absorb heat then flame cascade and constantly keep hitting fire burst until inferno and fiery weapon reload back up so inferno will be your dlt you'll constantly keep hitting over time and fiery weapon will boost up your might and your critical hits which is really good absorb heat will give you a blue flame what that does is it's going to give you power over time and it helps you hit harder um, if you don't have that it won't you won't hit as hard as if you had the blue flames going don't ever have to you hit read use absorb heat until you get knocked down or stunned then you'll go into flame cascade once you hit once you jump cancel absorb heat flame cascade and then like i said go into fire burst flame cascade will stun and knock down well once stun it'll knock down your in, in your enemies and do damage to them fire burst will be your um, constant move just like ice which would be arctic dust so now for your loadout you will hit inferno with fire weapon then go to absorb heat flame cascade and then go into fire burst so as you can see I hit 12,000 maybe 13,000 every now and then and now I'm gonna show you what happens when you don't have your um, absorb heat on which would be your blue flame because your absorb heat lets you hit harder and it it helps you you don't ever have to constantly keep clipping absorb heat until you get knocked down so to never keep hitting it you'll just hit inferno with fire weapon and then you'll hit it with fire burst constantly so as you guys can see i was hitting um 12 000, um just about every other hit so now my blue flame is gone i'll just clip inferno with fire weapon without hitting absorb heat and show you what that does when i hit fire burst so i'm gonna hit 5,000, 4,000, 3,000. And I might, yeah, like I see, you see a 12,000 and whatever. But now, look at my look at my power bar. Don't get no power back whatsoever. You have to have overheat on to use this loadout, or your troller will hate you no matter what. So now let's take another look at the loadout with absorb heat and flame cascade. Flame cascade, you don't need to hit that, but you have to hit. Well, you have to hit it, but you don't need that keep your power bar going up so look at my power bar it's regaining every time i hit fire burst fire burst fire burst does take a lot of your um does take a lot of your power away but it's okay you'll have a troller that will be able to do kills in an instant and then you're you'll be fine the rest of the world if you don't get stunned if you do get stunned if you do get stunned just hit a little peak go back to fire burst when your inferno fire will come back go ahead and just hit fire burst all over again and then let's we'll just pop a supercharge in here and the target has died and now if you have your trinket now i'm going to show you how hard you hit with the trinket so the highest the highest hit i should have got was at least 12,000, right let's see what my highest hit was okay my max hit was 12k now we'll pop your trink we'll pop a trinket and we'll pop my supercharge and i should hit four, four, 14k so we'll go through the whole rotation now I should hit for 14,000 yeah see 14,000 
maybe 15. Your main one hits 14,000. My might is 10k, uh, but when I hit my um, when I hit my uh, trinket, it boosts up to 11,000. Yeah, boost up to 11,000. Now I went back to 10. So yeah, that will be. Your thing.